Hey guys, it's me, Verilyn. So, we spent a lot of time talking about your sexual habits now as adults. But for most of us, sex came up before our 18th birthdays. So, besides your friends, who did you talk to about sex? Did you talk to your mom? What did your mom growing up tell you about sex? Nothing. She found out I was fooling around with a guy and she gave me a book and it had a chapter on masturbation. My mother didn't tell me anything about sex. It was just expected that I was going to wait till marriage. I mean, her biggest fear was me, um, me, you know, impregnating one of the, one of the females, you know, because my, my sister was already, you know, she already had two kids, so, you know, she doesn't want me to go down that road before me finishing school. And my mom is <laughs> very old school, so we really didn't have, like, the sex talk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I talked to my four older sisters about it, mm-hmm. and that's how I learned. And, like, just to get the whole gist of it, this is, like, really embarrassing, by the way. I watched, like, a porno, and I was like, oh, this is what sex is supposed to be. So, no, most of us did not get that heart-to-heart sex talk with our parents. I certainly didn't. But, based on what they instilled in me culturally and religiously, I knew growing up I should not even be thinking about sex. Yet, as early as elementary school, I remember talking about what those kids were doing behind the dumpsters. Before your mom even mentioned sex to you ever, you Mm -hmm. were sexually active. Mm -hmm. How did you know about sex? Like, what was the first time you were like, oh, this and this equals sex? (laughs) I didn't know what it was. Like, uh, funny story. I the I was a kid and the guy was giving me head. Okay. He was a kid too. He was my okay, age. Okay, I'm gonna ask okay, yeah, okay. He was my age. Um, I grew up with him. He lived around the block. I still talk to him. Um, he's straight now. He has a girlfriend, all that jazz. But anyway, he was. We called an orgasm that feeling, and we would actually get there, and we would stare at each other's uh, penises because we couldn't figure out if it was spit or something was coming out. I didn't know what an orgasm was until I was fifteen or sixteen, but I was getting them as young as eleven. And I'm just like, we just didn't know what it was. S- s- sex, the way you and I know it, just didn't occur to me. It was, mm-hmm. it was this feels good. This is fun. And anything that feels good must be good. I mean, sex was just something that was just always there. I mean, I remember in fifth grade, actually, um, you know, one of the girls was pregnant at our fifth grade graduation from PS9. And then she had another baby. Um, when she was in seventh grade, I mean, I had classmates that have been having sex sixth, seventh, eighth grade, high school. It was just always around me. It was just something that everyone else did. We both taught in New York. I was a middle school teacher, and I had students that there were rumors going around. There was all kinds of things um, about what they were doing sexually, and it was shocking actually to me. I had no idea. That was really the first time that I. Um, realized that that kids were really having sex at 11, 12 years old. I thought it was just, you know, little pockets here and there, but I realized that, okay, this is really something that's really going on. What are you going to do differently with your kids when it comes to sex ed or teaching them about sex? Uh, I, I will let them know that I love them, and I'm going to give them my best judgment, you know, and I'm just hoping they're going to follow by my principles, you know what I mean? I think if we frame all these uh, sticky subjects in terms of intelligent decisions instead of saying it's just wrong and not giving them an explanation, I think things will work out a lot better. Honestly, it's hard for me to even consider what I tell my kids as I'm more worried about my birth control than giving birth. But I do have a little niece who will probably become curious about sex a lot sooner than I want to think. So I want to be ready for her questions. In the meantime, though, I'm going to keep asking mine.